So when I first drove this bus here, the uh, motor rattles a little bit. You know, it doesn't rattle like a knocking, but it just makes a little bit of extra noise when you first fire it up. And if you've got a uh, V-dub that's doing that, um, and you want to fix this right away because that can cause premature engine wear. So, um, how you do that? This is a door relief case, so it has basically. Uh, let's look here, right here. If you can see that little, my finger up above my finger right there. There's one of those little those bolts. It looks like a, and, and there's one on the other end of the motor, too. So that's called a dual relief case. So um, you can get this kit right here. If you've got a little bit of noise, you fire it up, it makes a bit of noise, and then after you run it for a minute, you know, half a minute or so, that noise kind of goes away. Then that means your oil pressure when you're first fired up is probably not sufficient. Um, so this corrects that pretty well. So you go ahead and buy one of these little kits. It's called a pressure booster kit. And the springs are a little bit stiffer and stuff like that so that it runs your oil pressure up first and gets your mains and rods oiled before it starts pushing more oils up to the oil cooler. Now, sometimes I've taken these out and the pistons don't slide right in. So sometimes every once in a while you get one where the piston, you're going to push it up in there and it doesn't want to push in and carefully try and wiggle around stuff. And if it doesn't go in, then I've actually had to sand these a little bit before I put them in. So I had a guy at uh, one of the shows. He says, man, they got a problem with these things. They're five thousandths off and this and that. Okay, look, I want you to think about something for a second. Does this thing have any rings on it? It doesn't have piston rings or anything on it, right? So obviously the tolerance is not that important. If it was, it would have rings on it. It would have something to... It would have an O-ring on it, it would have something to keep the oil from going past the piston. Because if it goes past the piston, the worst scenario is the oil that goes past the piston will go through the other port that goes to the uh, that goes to the uh, to the to oil cooler. So it's you know, as long as you fire it up and it doesn't rattle, you should be good to go. So you know, so if you hear guys, you know, that rhetoric going around about that type of, you know, that this, you know, that the pistons aren't, aren't the right size. Now, if you have one that's really wallowed out, um, apparently somebody makes these with that are oversized for cases that are kind of jacked up. Um, I don't know where you get that. You're going to have to search around for it. But um, this pressure relief kit is really good to keep your motor running better. So even if you have, if you even don't know, it might be good just to put one of these in there. It couldn't hurt. And then check your oil pressure before and after. Okay, so that's it for the pressure relief kit, um, uh, oil pressure booster kit. All right, I'll talk to you in the next video.